guys, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So I think I might be a little bit late to the game here, but I finally checked out Spring and ah, I love this movie. If you guys haven't seen or heard about this movie before, it's a really cool flick about a guy who's kind of down on his luck. There's various things going on in his personal life and he decides to take a trip to Italy. And when he finally gets to Italy, he starts falling for this girl who's beautiful and she's different and she's strange and something really weird's going on with her and he really needs to figure it out. <laughs> The best and the most surprising thing about this movie was the build up or like the story progression from the start. Um, the character background is so intensive and it really sucks you in. You understand why he makes certain choices and why he does certain things because you kind of see things through his eyes in a way um, and you really feel for the guy and it was really annoying because I had this kind of connection to him that I really liked him and I knew that this is a horror movie and I'm like this is not going to end well for him. I don't like this. It's not like, you know, a hostel situation where they walk in from backpacking and then they're kind of pulled into this situation and you don't really care or know the guys. This one, you really get to know the character and you really feel for him. So you want things to work out for him. Another thing that's really surprising about this movie is the horror parts are quite subtle and they really mesh well, I guess, into the storyline and make it more realistic, even though it's completely not realistic at all. It just seems to not be too overdone. It's more about the story and the message than, you know, trying to scare you, which I really liked. Um, but there is some really gory, gross parts but it all kind of pays off because you know you have these you know sections of the movie which is just about the storyline and the characters and then they'll have a horror part and it's I don't know it just blends really well and I haven't seen a movie like this in a long time another thing I found really surprising was actually the love story in this movie you don't see it often in horror movies I was kind of expecting because it was called spring and maybe it was just spring break and I knew that it was about a guy that goes to Italy but I thought maybe he goes to Italy and maybe he like fucks a girl and then something happens but it's a total different situation and it's really lovely. I actually cried during this movie because it's quite beautiful. If I could relate it to any other movie it would probably be Let the Right One In. It's not as beautiful as that movie and it's a little bit more modern but it's kind of the same situation with this kind of love and um, I don't know like love and horror kind of mixed together and not in a gothic way either. Also speaking about the beauty of the movie there's also these really lovely parts like one part is a scene where he's driving in this car and there's all these mountains around and there's this beautiful music playing and it just really wants you to be captured and like sent to Italy. It's really getting you in the zone and it was really good at like capturing you and bringing you straight into the movie. Sometimes when I'm watching movies I have to admit I get really distracted but this movie like totally kept my attention and I loved it. In saying all of that there are some what the fuck moments in this movie where it is hardcore horror for like two seconds and you don't know what you do in that situation to be honest uh, this is kind of like a movie that I I don't want to ruin anything but these movies I'm not really into normally but this is presented in such a different way that I think it's really unique it kind of has its own subgenre and I really recommend it to everybody I have to admit it was a little bit predictable but I was okay with that by the end overall I call this a soft romantic movie with tinges of horror but it's totally worth it I'm gonna give this a personal score of eight because I really enjoyed it I'm gonna give it a scare score of five because there are parts that you're like whoa what the fuck is that but then there's parts where it's just all romance and then originality score I'm gonna give it an 8 because it is really original I totally recommend this movie to everyone who hasn't seen it if you haven't seen it please check it out and if you have let me know what you thought down in the comments below I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys soon stay spooky bye